Based on a modified German Miko 200 design, the 10 Anzac class frigates are the major surface units of the Royal Australian Navy and Royal New Zealand Navy. The vessels were built using modular construction techniques. Hull and superstructure modules were built in both New Zealand and Australia. And the final fit-out was conducted at the Williamstown shipyards in Melbourne, Australia. Australia made further modifications to their vessels. An upward creep in ship manning led the RAN to undertake a habitability upgrade study. Additional restructuring to the Marine Engineering Department resulted in a change in the rank and billet structure, creating a need to rework some habitation areas. Hospitability upgrades were intended to provide added flexibility for additional training bunks, force protection personnel, special operations personnel and mixed genders on board the ships by increasing the ship's berthing by 11 up from the standard 174 berths. HMAS Arunta completed her upgrade and remaining units will follow. The Harpoon anti-ship missile is being fitted to Australian units. Work was completed on the first upgraded ship, HMAS Warramunga, in 2004. For a number of reasons related to operational considerations and the electronic environment, the Harpoon installation was relocated from its reserve space and weight position on O2 deck to a position on O1 deck forward of the bridge. Remaining units will be upgraded in due course. The Australian Defence Department decided to upgrade their Anzacs even before all ships were completed. The upgraded configuration includes AGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles fitted in two quad launchers, Evolved Sea Sparrow Missiles Quad packed in VLS enabling 32 missiles to be carried, four Nulka active missile decoys and the petrol mine and obstacle avoidance sonar system. All upgrades and new builds are scheduled for completion by 2006. Subsequent upgrades will focus on anti-ship missile defence. Newcastle is a long-range escort with roles including area air defence, anti-submarine warfare, surveillance, reconnaissance and interdiction. The ship is capable of countering simultaneous threats from the air, surface and subsurface. Powered by modern gas turbines, the ship can be underway from coal in 30 minutes. In addition, two forward-mounted retractable auxiliary propulsion units provide a secondary means of propulsion, plus excellent manoeuvrability in confined waters. Newcastle's principal weapons are the standard medium-range air-to-air missile and the Harpoon anti-ship missile. The ship is also equipped with a 76mm gun and the most effective of the close-in weapon systems, the Phalanx. Phalanx provides ships of many nations with a last chance defence against anti-ship missiles. Phalanx production started in 1978 with orders for 23 USN and 14 foreign military sail systems. Phalanx is the only deployed close-in weapon system capable of autonomously performing its own search, detect, evaluation, track, engage and kill assessment functions. For long-range anti-submarine tasks, the ship is equipped with a flight deck and two hangars for two S-70B-2 Seahawk helicopters. The ship's sensor package includes long-range radars for air and surface surveillance, 
and is the second FFG to be fitted with the Australian design and built Molokar Sona. The Type 22 frigates were built in three batches. The latter two batches improved on the previous one. Intended to replace the Leander-class frigates, the early Type 22 ships were primarily designed for the anti-submarine role. The first two batches were the first and so far only British warships to delete a main gun from the design. The first two ships were built with an alternate funnel design and without torpedo tubes. The last four Batch 2 members were designed to carry either two Lynx helicopters or a single Sea King or EH-101 helicopter. The Batch 3 ships were further lengthened and incorporated for the first time a 4.5 inch gun forward in place of the Exocet launchers on the earlier batches. Although retaining the two Seawolf launchers, Exocet was replaced with eight Harpoon launchers. These ships also include command facilities. As of 2005, all Batch 1 and 2 ships have been paid off and most have been sold or scrapped. Only the four Batch 3 ships remain in active service.